Have you ever wondered how a $355 million lawsuit could backfire so spectacularly? Let's delve into the complex web of the Trump lawsuit. We're talking about a staggering fine of $355 million, a figure that grows with each passing day due to the accumulating interest. It's a situation that former President Donald Trump finds himself in, embroiled in a battle of appeals and counter-appeals, a testament to the complexities of the American legal system. This lawsuit is not just about the money, it's about the potential repercussions for Trump's real estate empire, including the possible seizure of the iconic Trump Tower. It's about the allegations of fraud, the accusations of inflated wealth, and the controversial business practices that have come under the legal spotlight. But it's also about more than just Trump. It's about his sons, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump, who also stand to pay penalties. It's about the implications for the Trump brand, the future of his business ventures, and the impact on his political ambitions. As Trump navigates through these legal waters, his campaign for the Republican presidential nomination hangs in the balance. Will these legal battles tarnish his image or galvanize his support base? Will they derail his campaign or fuel his narrative of being the underdog? And as we watch this legal saga unfold, one cannot help but question the effectiveness of our justice system. Is justice truly served, or is this just another chapter in a never-ending political drama? Is this a tale of accountability, or a story of political maneuvering? As the gavel continues to echo in the halls of justice, only time will tell where this journey leads us. As this legal saga continues to unfold, one cannot help but question, is justice truly served, or is this just another chapter in a never-ending political drama? Now let's shift gears. Can you imagine a protest so powerful that it shakes the very foundations of a nation? Picture this, a sea of trucks, as far as the eye can see, rolling down the highway. This is the trucker's protest, a demonstration of unity and resolve that has sent ripples through society and the economy alike. Born from a shared sense of frustration and a desire for change, the protest was ignited by a single spark. Truckers, the lifeblood of our economy felt sidelined and unheard their voices drowned out by governmental mandates. This wasn't just a protest for the sake of protesting, it was a stand against what they perceived as an infringement on their rights. The scale of the protest was truly awe-inspiring. From dawn to dusk the ceaseless rumble of engines echoed, a testament to the truckers' determination. And it wasn't just about the truckers, their cry resonated with many sparking widespread support and the potential for a nationwide boycott. The impact was immediate and far-reaching, Supply chains were disrupted, economies felt the pinch, and society was forced to sit up and take notice. This wasn't just a handful of disgruntled individuals, it was a collective expression of discontent that shook the very foundations of a nation. What started as a protest, soon evolved into a powerful movement, a statement that the voice of the people cannot and should not be ignored. The truckers' protest demonstrated that when united the people have the power to effect change, to challenge the status quo, and to demand a better future. As the world watches, the truckers' protest stands as a testament to the power of collective action. But what does this mean for the future of protests and civil disobedience? What happens when public opinion and legal battles collide? This question has been at the heart of two recent events that have stirred up quite the storm. The Trump lawsuit and the truckers' protest. Firstly, let's look at the Trump lawsuit. While some view the lawsuit as a victory for justice, others see it as a political witch hunt. The verdict has not only caused a stir in the courtroom but has also sparked intense debates on social media platforms and in coffee shop conversations across the country. On one hand, there are those who believe that this lawsuit highlights the need for accountability, irrespective of one's wealth or status. On the other hand, there are those who argue that the lawsuit is just another attempt to tarnish Trump's image feeding into the ongoing divide between different political factions. Now let's turn to the truckers' protest. The power of this protest lies in its ability to rally public sentiment. People from all walks of life have been inspired by the truckers' stand against perceived governmental overreach. This protest has become a symbol of resistance, a beacon of hope for those who feel their voices are not being heard. But it's also been a source of controversy. Critics argue that the protest is disruptive and potentially dangerous, further fueling the divide in public opinion. Both the lawsuit and the protest have highlighted a key factor in our society today, polarization. We're living in an age where events like these can quickly become a litmus test of one's political leanings. 
They fuel debates, ignite passions, and unfortunately, often serve to widen the chasm between different factions within the country. But let's not forget that at the heart of these events are fundamental questions about justice, accountability, and the role of public sentiment. As we navigate these turbulent times we must remember that while public opinion can sway, justice should remain steadfast. In a world where public opinion can make or break a movement, where do we draw the line between justice and public sentiment? It's a question that's more relevant now than ever before. In the grand scheme of things, what do these events tell us about the state of our society? It's a question that has been simmering under the surface as we've delved into the Trump lawsuit and the truckers' protest. As we unpick the threads of these stories, we're left with a tapestry that reveals a great deal about the world we live in. Firstly, the Trump lawsuit underlines the pivotal role of the judiciary in our political landscape. It's not just about delivering justice, but also about maintaining accountability, even for the most influential figures. It's a testament to the checks and balances that exist within our democratic system, a stark reminder that no one, regardless of their wealth or status, is above the law. Then we have the truckers' protest, a vivid display of the power of collective action. It's a clear demonstration that when people band together in pursuit of a common cause, they can shake the very foundations of society. It's a powerful signal to those in power that the voices of the people cannot be easily silenced or ignored. These two events also highlight the immense influence of public opinion on major societal events. The court of public opinion often sways before the gavel hits the wood in the court of law. In the case of Trump, public sentiment played a significant role in shaping the narrative around his lawsuit. Similarly, the truckers' protest gained momentum as public support swelled, propelling their cause into the global spotlight. As we navigate these turbulent times, it's crucial to remember the underlying currents that these events reveal. They show us that we live in a society where justice, collective action and public opinion hold considerable sway. The lessons we learn from these events could shape the future of our society. They serve as a reminder that the power to effect change lies not just in the hands of the few, but also in the collective will of the many. As we navigate these turbulent times, the lessons we learn from these events could shape the future of our society. So, where do we go from here? It's time we rise up and take a stand. Let's not just be passive observers of the political and societal landscape. Let's be active participants. Let's voice our opinions. Let's engage in debates. Let's question the status quo. We've seen how powerful collective action can be. We've seen how the truckers' protest shook the system. We've seen how the lawsuit against a prominent figure unfolded. It's time we use these lessons and drive change. Being an informed citizen is not a choice, it's a responsibility. It means understanding the complexities of the political environment. It means questioning the decisions that affect us. It means holding those in power accountable. So let's dive deep into the news. Let's understand the implications of the stories that are unfolding. Let's not shy away from asking tough questions. Let's challenge the narratives that are being spun. Remember, your voice matters. Use it wisely and let's shape the future one opinion at a time.